My research focuses on women in prison and specifically recidivism, reentry, why they are coming back to prison. Um, and so I, in terms of research that I've done um, recently, I went into a maximum security prison in Oklahoma and interviewed um, about 22 women uh, in depth about why uh, they felt that they had had to come back to prison, why they'd returned to crime and so forth. It's been argued just through feminist research and new research coming out and so forth um, in criminology, criminal justice, that women have not been the focus of criminal justice research. I had never really considered the situation that women don't get a focus in the research um, and you know focus as to why they're committing crime what brings them into crime um, even some of the context about things like abuse and poverty that can bring them into things for economic survival and so forth actually I mention a lot of my research efforts and experiences with the students because as undergraduates they haven't had the opportunity to go out and interact with these populations with such subjects and all that um, and so, you know, for example, I teach the women, women in crime class every semester. And so just today I was talking about how, you know, we have to um, consider the context around why these women are committing crime, why they're in prison. I want to now start comparing it to Illinois um, because Oklahoma, of course, has the highest per capita incarceration rate for women. Um, and so Illinois is a different picture demographically and I just want to see, you know, if the needs are the same, um, if the factors behind recidivism are the same for women um, in a region that is pretty different. I have found a couple of wardens um, through the Illinois prison system um, who are just phenomenal. They've let us already tour their prisons each semester. They continue to let us do that. And I have spoken to them about getting into work, you know, with their women. Um, and they seem really open to that. We have the perfect opportunity here to learn forever, you know, and so we're, while we're faculty, I think we should be lifelong students as well.